Thank you so much. How are we? We good? Yes? Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's Friday night. It's rainy. You're all here. Thank you for the good reaction to that. You're all here and you went, yeah, what do you want from me? <laughs> it's London. We have to do something. I paid 10 million pounds for a flat. Brexit. <laughs> Can't live there. How are you, sir? You're all right. You have excellent front of the show energy. <laughs> I could have talked to you, sir, with your floppy hair and art dealer sensibility. <laughs> but I talked to this man who I assume works in accounts. He dreamed of being a painter, but no brush. <laughs> what is your name, brother? Emil. Emil. Yes. I like how you said that slowly, assuming I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> and you are right. <laughs> Thank you. And Emil, how was your day? Long. Long. I fear to ask how his year was. <laughs> I'll just start singing a Leonard Cohen song. <laughs> For those of you that didn't laugh, we're in the West End. You have to laugh at a joke like that, even though it doesn't make sense. If not, you'll be written about in Time Out if it was 1990. I just had a stroke. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Ever been hit by a car? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I've asked that question to a lot of people, and that's the best answer I've ever gotten. <laughs> you just... I don't even know where to get... Well, I have. <laughs> I've prepared a show about it, and here we go. <laughs> yeah, so you've never been hit by a car. Let me explain how it kind of goes. It's a very odd situation, because I don't remember being hit. I was just on my bike here in London, and then suddenly I wasn't on my bike, and yet I remained in London. <laughs> And I was just lying on the pavement on Seven Sisters Road in North London. And the car that had hit me, it sort of, it didn't stop. It's, it's an odd thing to describe. It sort of paused in front of me. A pause I think a lot of you would actually recognize. It's a pause you usually experience at like a Sainsbury's or a Tesco's when you're using the automated checkout machine. And the machine asks you, how many bags have you used? <laughs> <laughs> and you look over at your seven bags. And then you pause and hit zero bags. <laughs> it was a hit and run, is what happened. And he, the car just took the fuck off. And I'm, you have a quiet confidence to you that I am actually quite envious of. You can be in a bad mood. I asked you how your day was. You said long with authority. I can't do, I could be bleeding from the head. And someone would go, how was your day? And I went, well, I learned that there's veins in there. So that's a plus. <laughs> I don't have that. When I was hit by a car, I did not blame the driver initially. For a moment, I blamed myself. I lay there in the road going, well, you deserve that. Because you don't look good on a bike. And I don't look good on a bike. Like you, sir, would look fucking tremendous on a bike. Like you're off to get coffee with a bike. Oh, well, with Chloe and Kiki, and they're back from Spain. And I... I fucking nailed that, too, because he just nodded going, you know Kiki. <laughs> I, I, I fucking wish I had your energy. I don't. If I'm on a bicycle, I just look like a guy who's been caught drinking and driving so many times. <laughs> he now has to ride a bicycle. 